Coming up. Well, with at least 50 confirmed cases of the swine flu in the U.S., our next guest says his biggest concern is public panic. Joining us now on the phone is Tevi Troy, former Deputy Secretary of Health and Human Services and currently a visiting senior fellow at the Hudson Institute. Tevi, it's so great of you to be here. You have an article in the Wall Street Journal today about all the preparedness that went on during the Bush administration when you were at that department. And tell me what you're seeing being put in place today or used that was part of what the Bush administration did. Uh, thanks, and thanks for having me here today. Look, there's, there's a couple of things that we're working on. First of all, uh, quick identification of samples, which the Center for Disease Control is good at. Second of all, we've built up our vaccine capacity, which means we can hopefully get a vaccine for this problem once we identify the samples within four months. And then the third item that uh, we have is an antiviral stockpile with 50 million courses. That's multiple doses of 50 million courses of antivirals like Temaflu. Mm -hmm. And that could be extremely helpful in dealing with the crisis. But one of the policy questions that you raised, Tevi, is that you do have to, I, I guess, be prudent in the deployment of those antivirals because, again, the virus can it can mutate, correct, and, and become resistant if, if if to those antiviral drugs, right? Uh, you know, it's absolutely right. The, uh, the the virus can become resistant, but we can't stop. The mutation, right? So mm -hmm. mutations happen, but we have to be careful about how we deploy it. You may want to deploy it hard, fast, into one concentrated spot to stop the forest fire um, in, when it's a few little sparks to become from becoming a big flame. So there are different ways, different methods to deploy it that might help prevent it from being a big problem. What, what else did you look at when you were working at the Health and, at Health and Human Services when you were Deputy Secretary in terms of closing borders? Is, is that a wise idea? What about quarantines? Much debate about that. Yeah, a quarantine works when you have a very small group of people on, in a contained environment, like if they're on a ship or if they're an airplane. I visited different quarantine wards where you could stop something that just came over the country like Ebola and not let it get any further. When you've got something like uh, swine flu, where you've got so many people who have it already and there's so much travel these days, I think it would be much harder to stop something like that through a quarantine. Um, closing the border, border is also a problem. As we all know, our border is quite permeable and people come in and out all the time. So uh, I'm not sure border closing is right now. Well, what about the, the public, the public reaction? You m mentioned concern about panic in your comments are is are all these world health organizations the who all of these events, even the media are we making too much of this are we maybe stirring up panic you, you know uh, that's an excellent point i think panic is my number one concern right now i mean if you look at stars it did have uh it, it did kill people i mean killed over 700 people but the panic that it generated was much worse than the number of deaths and there was a $40 billion economic impact in Asia. So you've got to be really careful about not stirring up panic. I was very concerned about what Commissioner Vassilou said in the European Union yesterday, but she told people not to travel to the United States. Mm -hmm. Well, as far as I can tell, the problem is not across the United States, it's isolated places in the U.S., and I think that was premature. Does it concern you that you, we've got an estimated 20 top officials at Health and Human Services that ha, who have not been confirmed yet, including the secretary designate Kathleen Sebelius? Yeah, it concerns me a great deal. It's not estimated. It's uh, confirmed positions at HHS are not filled. I know you're going to have Dr. Van Eschenbach later on the show. His position is, is not filled. He was the commissioner of FDA. My position, deputy secretary, is not filled. None of these slots are filled, and it is a real problem for containing a public health uh, perception of crisis. Tevi, thank you for being here. Tevi Troy, he's the, for the former Health and Human Services Deputy Secretary. Safe travels, Tevi, wherever you may be. I really appreciate it. Thanks. I hope to see you soon. Still to come.